morning, and welcome to KHSL-TV's coverage of the second annual Rancho Chico Days Parade, coming to you live from the streets of beautiful downtown Chico, with Parade Grand Marshal Mike Sherrard of the San Francisco 49ers. And now, here are Bruce and Wendy. <laughs> Lang. This is the second annual Rancho Chico Days Parade. We're happy to be here. 157 plus floats are going to be coming down the streets of uh, Chico. So we're here to tell you all about that. Next two hours, that's right. It's about 157 degrees up here. We're at 5th <laughs> and Main Streets. And uh, the parade actually will be getting underway probably in about 10 yeah. It's, uh, it's a great experience, not only the parade, but the people around here. Everybody and their mother and their kids are here. And uh, it has that wonderful atmosphere. We were walking around before the parade. and. We've got this information about what's going on. We're here. We've got our whole Channel 12 crew here. Debbie Cobb is out there on the street. In fact, I see her down there right now. Do you think we ought to see what she's up to? All right. Debbie, take it away. <laughs> Good morning, uh, Bruce and Wendy. And I would like to also welcome everyone to the Rancho Chico Day annual event. And I think we can expect a really good show today. This is the biggest ever parade ever held in Chico and even bigger than the Pioneer Days Parade from what I understand. And Bruce and Wendy, if I were to special order weather for this event, I could not think of any better weather that we could have. It's a beautiful sunny day. And for those of you at home, we hope you enjoy the show too. Bruce and Wendy, back to you. Well, Debbie, there's definitely a spirit in the air here. It's a spirit of cooperation between students and the community of Chico. And Brian Peterson tells us more. Poster celebrates the growing community spirit rekindled after the demise of Pioneer Days two years ago. Charles Withuen designed last year's poster and was commissioned by the Rancho Chico Days Committee to come up with another memorable display this year. Uh, last year it was the uh, Belgian workhorse and uh, uh, we thought this year uh, the leader of the parade. Everybody loves the parade and so uh, this year we uh, have the uh, drum major out in front there with his uh, baton and uh, a couple of uh, band members behind him. This year 200 have been taped tacked and stapled to businesses and public places throughout Chico. And with the rapid popularity of Rancho Chico Days, it's likely the posters may soon find their way into frames. But at the very least, they have become the symbol of a renewed community spirit. It isn't exactly like the rebuilding of Atlanta, but the second Rancho Chico Days celebration has lived up to its theme. What was old is new again. A fresh bond built between university students and the community. It's a renewed spirit. It's not so down anymore. People are looking forward to it, looking forward to the functions. It seems like everybody's back in the swing of things and in kind of a different mode that's uh, more community-oriented. The students are doing it with the community more than the, the university, which brings the community and the students together, whereas before Pioneer Days was basically the students. Many of the long-standing traditions of Pioneer Days have successfully made the jump to the more sober Rancho Chico Day celebration. Sorority and fraternity quads are proudly displayed in Children's Park. Many local businesses supplied thousands of dollars worth of materials while students supplied the labor. And as one frat member says, it is not just that relationship that has improved, but the bond between students as well. I've had people that have been in fraternities and sororities um, that are older come up to me and say, hey, you know, there's just something really different about this. People are helping people and it's working out really well. And I'd like to commend the student committee for that because they have really, really put off that positive um, atmosphere to us. Many participants say they feel fortunate to have witnessed the reincarnation of a true community event that they hope promises to become tradition. In Chico, I'm Brian Peterson, Channel 12 News. So we are on top of the Chamber of Commerce building, in and case BBR. people didn't know that. And we're the only people within earshot or eyesight that have an awning, which is probably why we look a little tan today. <laughs> We've been down here since about 6, and uh, bringing the kids and the, uh, you know, the lawn chairs and uh, mom and dad and everybody else. And as our Channel 12 cameras are showing you now, there's the color guard and the City of Chico Police Department, which is... Uh, at least in the rundown that we have, is our, is our first float today. And, of course, they're setting the pace for the 1989 Rancho Chico Days Parade. And also, they've been very supportive of the Days Festival, because the parade is the highlight of Rancho Chico Days. But there are other things going on, the quad projects, uh, dances. That's right. That's right. And there's a lot of events today, too, and tonight, uh, the uh, multicultural affair. Continental Color Guard from Fort Ord, California courtesy of the Community Relations Branch of the Fort Ord Public Affairs Office. Over 4,000 people are going to be participating in the parade. Many more are on the sidelines and up and down the streets of Chico waiting for 
Oh, the floats and, and the, the parade is indeed underway. We have had the uh, Chico Police, uh, which kick off that parade, and of course the uh, the Honor Guard, which is the Continental Color Guard once again from Fort Ord, California. There is the Chico Senior High School marching band. The uh, they are under, marching is under the direction of uh, Leonard Duarte, and leading the band is the military drum major. If I don't get drowned out here by <laughs> Tracy Corbett. The Marching Panther Band will be playing Valiant as they pass us by. And of course, from Chico, California, this is the 1989 host band, the Chico Senior High School. Let's give a listen to them as they go by. Come back to Chico, and I'm glad, glad we got a great turnout and lots of people supporting me and the 49ers, and you know, just having a great day in Chico. All right, thanks a lot, Mike Sherrard with the 49ers, joining us live out here for the second annual Ranch of Chico Days Parade. Bruce and Winnie, I'm going to toss it back up to you. Okay, Debbie. What a pleasure. Really? really? The Grand Marshal. Just Mike some Sherrard. of the, uh, we must probably have 15,000, 20,000 people along the streets of Chico there. There's a couple that are right down in front of our, uh, our broadcast booth and the uh, review stand here. We have the, uh, Next group, I believe, coming up. We'll be seeing them in a little while. There's a man selling balloons. Well, Mike Sherrard is still signing autographs, so <laughs> it's, uh, it's holding up a little bit, but the crowd really adores him. <laughs> He's right below us here. He looks happy to be <laughs> back in the, the North State, doesn't it. he, Wendy? Indeed. <laughs> All right. Go Niners. And we're going to take a break right now. Be right back. Don't you march away. The 1989 Rancho Chico Days Parade will continue after these messages.